Hey there smartphone fans, welcome back to another honest hands-on with the latest tech from China here in Smartphone Wars and today I have the successor of one of the most controversial and revolutionary phones to come out last year and it is the Duji Mix 2, the successor to the original Duji Mix which caught up quite a stir, it was featured in Unbox Therapy, it's one of the most highly sold phones in the last 6 months because it had that mix bezel display at a very low cost price and this is Duji's second attempt at greatness because honestly the first model for me really just didn't do it that much let's hope the successor can succeed where the first generation failed and of course I got the most beautiful ocean blue model yes it's uh, oh, well, the first thing you just noticed the phone the phone is really really nice looking guys um, it's uh, all the way up glass body with metal rims very solidly built uh, and uh, the blue when hit by a certain light becomes almost violet and purple at times it's just a very very good looking phone nothing which i can say about that uh, very good build quality the buttons are all sturdy there's no wobbliness in there just a solidly built device and you should expect that for a 200 dollars device and also has a usb type c port on the bottom and there's two grooves plus just a single speaker and now let's move on to the specs this is a 6 inch 18 by 9 full view display with a 4 HD plus resolution and uh, it was run on Android 7.1 Nougat which is a later version of Android than most Chinese devices at this price point. 6 gigs of RAM, 64 gigs of onboard storage which is expandable, Helio P25 octa core, a real 16 megapixel main camera by Omnivision and an 8 megapixel front camera again by Omnivision and it's nice to see the Mix 2 has all the sensors. And just tradition, every new phone I firstly run on Tutu test and the score was pretty reasonable, up to par with all Helio P25 devices, even better than most, and close to Snapdragon 625. What was really surprising for me was that the GPS on the Digimix 2 is quite fast and accurate, locking from inside my house. This is a dual nano SIM phone, uh, which has uh, limited brand support, uh, and you get 4G in Asia and Europe, no problem, but it's limited in the United States, so do check carry if it's supported. I'm living in Europe, so I had no problem and I got 4G straight away here. And now let's continue to explore the rest of the Duji Mix 2 package. This is a very, very uh, rich package that Duji have made here. So they really want you to feel that this phone is very premium and you get a pamphlet a warranty. You even get a second uh, screen protector. It is half full from the get go on one applied on the front and one on the back panel as well and you also get this lovely uh, skin like feel case uh, like uh, with the one plus one used to have which fits great uh, and uh, feels very comfortable very natural to hand uh, so could use for that a free case in the box that's always nice and i think should be mandatory for absolutely every phone out there so tell me what you think some of in the comments below if you think that's true and so uh, let's see if what we have also inside here yes the limited warranty cards uh, um don't know how much the warranty is on this thing i really don't care and uh, this is a micro usb to usb type c adapter so if you don't have a usb type c cable with you can grab somebody's micro usb one and use this adapter to charge your phone and since this doesn't have a headphone jack it's nice that duji have packed the 3.5 millimeter to usb type c converter so you can use your good headphones with it and of course you also have a usb type c cable for charging and transferring data and there's also a charger inside the box now this is not a brick charger so i'm not really sure this supports fast charging or quick charging but i'll have to check that in my full review next week um, on the software experience i'm really pleased that duji have actually cleaned their act and this new duji os uh, 2.0 based on Android 7.1 Nougat is much more cleaner and smoother and the icons and general look feels a bit like color OS from Oppo phones which is a good thing since this is a very preferable skin and uh, the phone is practically bold to free and they've actually added this cool app drawer style like the OnePlus and the new Google Pixel devices very very nice uh, for to finally listen to the fans and supply a good uh, OS, a good light and clean vanilla Android experience instead of the bloated versions we used to get previously. What about security? You have fingerprints, ID and lock, but there is a new, better way to unlock your phone here. 
using facial recognition. That's right, just like in the iPhone X and the OnePlus 5T, do you have implemented facial recognition or face ID, which is very easy to use. You can use it from the security settings. All it does is take a few shots in your face to know that it's you. And every time you just press the power button and have your face in line with the front camera, it will unlock and it will unlock pretty, pretty fast, but not as fast as a OnePlus 5T. One thing was really weird that I couldn't use the fingerprint scanner and face ID at the same time. So you have to really pick between one of them. And every time you decide to switch, you have to enroll either of them again, which is really, really not that great. On the camera experience for me looked okay. I've just had this phone in good lighting conditions, took a few shots and the shots actually looked pretty well, but you have to wait for my full camera review on that. Uh, so I will be using this phone for around five, six days to give you the full verdict. So this has been it for my Doji Mix 2 unboxing and first impressions. Give the video a thumbs up if you like it and subscribe to my channel for more Chinese tech reviews. Stick around.